Greetings, I'm Victor from Virtual Flight Training. I'm a flight sim enthusiast and real world pilot. Having used the GNS430 unit in real life for about 150 hours in both visual and instrument flight conditions, I know this device quite well and value it for its versatility. It can be a simple moving map or a real sophisticated flight management computer, if you like. I was really happy to see it simulated in DCS world and there are already a few videos and in-game tutorials for this unit. Also, if you search for GNS430 on YouTube, you will find tons of great instruction footage on the real-world counterpart. However, I'd like to introduce you to my way of setting up the moving map page for efficient use. So, what you'll always want during flight is track up, instead of north up orientation. It makes navigation so much easier helps you create your mental picture of the area and increase your situational awareness. Press menu. Select set up map. North up is selected presently. Press enter to change that. Track up is selected now. Press the clear key to exit the menu. Voila. Now the next step will add data fields to your moving map. At one glance you will be able to see your position on the map as well as the most important navigational parameters such as two-way point, track, ground speed or ETA without having to switch between pages. Press menu, select data fields on. Press menu again and select change fields. Now you're able to modify the fields as you like. Select the field you'd like to edit with the outer knob. Now turn the inner knob and make a choice. Try Waypoint, Desired Track, Track and ETA for example. This is my personal setup when flying the MI8. It's always good to see the two waypoint at one glance. Desired Track, also called Course sometimes, obviously is your main navigational information. The DIS-15 Doppler system gives me a good ground speed readout in KPH. The track, however, can be a bit hard to read, so I have that one displayed on the NS430 as well. Finally, the ETA, the estimated time of arrival, is a great tool when it comes to complex missions that require precise timing. One important notice for the mission creators. Assign proper names to your waypoints, as those will be displayed on the GPS unit. A maximum of five characters and no special characters. This is it already. I hope this video helps you managing your MI8 flight tech a bit more efficiently. Thank you for watching.